What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, and welcome back to more tips and tricks with Marvel Avengers Alliance. We're doing the heroic battle of Season 2, Chapter... Are we in Chapter 4? Mission 3? I believe so. It's Sif versus the Enchantress. Now, as usual, let's go over our combatant, in this case Sif. Take a look at what she's got and equip any unfair advantage she would have in this predicament. And throw her against nature itself. Pretty much. <laughs> it's the summary. Alright, Sif. Okay. I believe Augmented Eyes to Eight were released in this. I don't have a really powerful one. Just an in chance, increased chance to crit. And I'm just going to leave that Eyes to Eight slot alone. Right now, her stats look something like this. Now, for this battle, people keep recommending that you need her modern armor, which does Tempered Steel. I don't really like this, because one, I don't like anything that requires I need an outfit for it. Two, I don't like her outfit. I don't like any outfit that has a buff that goes away. So anyways, having said that, let's go into battle. This is another one of the ones that actually uses dialogue in the middle of battle to affect the outcome of the battle itself. So, it's just Sif versus the Enchantress. Unfortunately, the Enchantress has to be a dick and get away her and remove her only weakness. Which is, I believe, she cannot be followed up? I don't remember. She's a luring voice, which has neutralized, we can resolve, bane, a whole bunch of fun, st fun stuff. Now, we can rage, which will give us a uh, berserker power, or we can ignore her. The best choice here is to rage. We get Raging Barbarian, and she gets Magic Missile. Now here comes one of the uh, better parts about this that is kind of luck based, and that's uh, and that's debuffs. So yeah, Raging uh, Raging Barbarian deals increased damage, but removes Steal Yourself. I didn't know what Steal Yourself was, but anyways, it lowers accuracy and prevents True Strike. Chance to remove a harmful effect when attacking, and this effect can be applied three times. So, basically, we now use Inspired Courage to get Honed Edge, which now hurt my next attack will be a critical. Now, hitting uh, Enchantress, I'll do some diff some stuff, but uh, removes and prevents counter attacks. So we've got nothing that prevents follow-up attacks. So basically we'll start this off with the Leaping Slash. Which will do a decent amount of damage and get that. And now we'll stab her, but unfortunately she's immune to bleeding, which is total complete bullshit. A lowering voice will continue to lower our attack power, which means we just must continue to rage to have a chance to remove it. So... RAGE! Dare I'd say Asgardian Rage! <laughs> it's like Brooklyn Rage, but not anyways. <laughs> Alright. So basically what we want to keep doing now is just keep uh, hitting with Leaping Slash. Or we could use Flying Sword, because that added something new that I didn't see before. Okay, which one is stronger? Leaping Slash is definitely stronger, so we'll go with that. Also, I didn't know that they apply Raging Barbarian. I was unaware of that. Okay, it doesn't add it, it just takes it into account. I don't know how that works. It says it gives Raging Barbarian, according to it. Because it says self, Raging Barbarian, but that's... That's usually, it means it's gonna give it to me, but it didn't give it to me. It just, taking into account that it that it's part of it, I guess? I don't know, something smells like a Titan tank. Oh, hello, Sif! I love this fight, <laughs> for that reason alone. This used to be pretty hard, but once I got, like, her up high enough and put some empowered ice, or chaotic ice weight on her, she turned out fine. You can get screwed over a little bit by, uh, uh, the debuffs, but as long as you basically just keep, uh, raging, you'll defeat her no time at all. 
Now, while it says it lowers her accuracy, just keep on something to increase her accuracy. Like ISO 8s if you're really having a problem with it, and you'll finish this in no time flat. So, what does she get for this? I'll tell you as soon as it loads. There we go. Anyways, her prize for this is the Berserking Empowered. She gets Berserker, a chance to join in on an ally's attack, chance to retaliate when an ally is hit by single target attacks. This was actually retooled because it originally gave, I think, allies the ability she gets in the battle, but that was stupid because beforehand, she couldn't hit for dick with that ability because her accuracy would be absolutely nerfed because of it it has been fixed and so this is her new empowered i don't have it i kind of want it but i'm gonna wind up getting command points i'll take bets on it i've got something useless that doesn't matter <laughs> anyways i hope this guide helps you out and feel free to message me if you guys are still having problems with it until next time i'll catch you all later Asta.